This is the iPhone 5S and it is nine years old in 2022. It was released in 2013. So how does it hold up considering it's a nine year old phone? Have Apple managed to still make this phone a usable phone in 2022? Firstly, its overall design follows the iPhone 4 design, which is the boxy edges and boxy sides, and the iPhone 5S followed this. This design was used up until the iPhone 6S, which I also have to hand, when they changed to a more curvy and perhaps more elegant and sleek design in the hands. Of course, in 2022, from the iPhone 12 models onwards, Apple went back to this boxy design, and they clearly still do like this design. So it's definitely something that is still used in 2022. As for the display and the front of the iPhone 5S, it fit the phones at the time. It had big bezels and borders. To be fair though, Apple still do use awfully big bezels on their iPhone SE models that they still release to this day. But when we look at even old phones now, like this Galaxy Note 8, this is what we consider old in 2022. And just look at the size difference. You can really see how small this phone looks next to the Galaxy Note 8. And another thing to touch on is the four inch display. In 2022, a study was conducted by a tech website and they believe that the average phone screen size in January 2022 was 6.3 inches. Apple's top spec iPhone 14 Pro Max has a screen size of 6.7 inches, which is a 2.7 inch increase just over those nine years. The iPhone 5S also saw the introduction of the lightning port, which is used even in 2022 on the iPhone 14 models. I also managed to dig out the iPhone 5S box. And as you can see here, you actually got a power brick and cable in the box, which was very impressive. At the time, the phone would have been seated right at the top when you first opened it. You'd take the phone out. Underneath it, you'd have all the paperwork, which I've sort of lost some of it over the years, but some of it's still there. You would have had a little slip, which would have held the SIM ejection tool to eject your SIM and put your new SIM in, and all the other accessories, such as the power brick, the cable, and the headphones, which all came standard in the box. As for software on the iPhone 5S, this is what I personally find the most impressive. When we go into settings and we go to general and we press about, you can see this iPhone 5S is running iOS 12.5.6, which if we go into the software update, is the latest version available on this device. This software is not that far out of date. I know that sounds crazy because we're on iOS 16, but there haven't been that many major redesigns. The app icons generally look fairly similar. I was filming another video earlier today, so I have on hand with me an Apple iPad 9th generation on iPadOS 16. As you can see, the Mail app is the same, the Photos app is also the same, the FaceTime app is the same, the um, Contacts app, if I can find it, is very similar, if not the same. So generally, things haven't changed that much in the overall dis design aesthetic. Earlier today, I was also filming a video with the iPhone 4, which check out my channel because hopefully that video will have gone on at the time you're watching this. But as you can see, this is where you see the app icons change. We've got camera app. This is iOS 7. So we've got iOS 7 on the iPhone 4 and then iOS 12 on the iPhone 5S. As you can see, the camera app's different. I believe the clock icon's different if I can get it to focus. It's just different text overall. That's the main theme. The text has changed. Look at the calendar app. The weather app, same again. Let me just lock the focus on my camera. The weather app has also seen a bit of a change in its icon, but generally things have say, stayed fairly similar. It's just been little refinements like the app store. The A now looks neater, more up to date. Same with the iTunes store. It's now more modern and up to date. It's generally just keeping things feeling up to date and modern. One last thing I want to touch on before you go is the audio quality, because that is one aspect of smartphones that personally I don't think has improved hugely over the years. So we've got the volume on full, we've got some non-copyright sounds loaded up. I'm stood not too far away from the phone, just behind the camera, and let's hear how it sounds. Overall, I think it sounds fairly good. It's not amazing, it's not perfect, but at the same time, smartphone speaker quality has not really improved 
drastically over the years. So it's going to be great for listening to a podcast, some background music or watching a YouTube video. In my opinion, the iPhone 5 software does not limit it at all. Its software is smooth, it's fluid and it's great for day to day tasks. There is nothing particularly outstanding about it. It's not the latest software, you can't do the most customization, but overall it's still fairly good. I'm going to have a look at the camera now because this is very important. So if we open the camera application, we're going to turn the HDR on. As you can see here, we've got our subjects just in front of us. So we're going to focus on it, get it in landscape mode. Okay, we've taken a photo of the subjects. Let's see how it does. I'm just going to change the focus from my camera to make it a bit darker so that you can see as you can see in terms of the the camera on this iphone it's not awful like we are in a fairly well lit room and if i zoom in on the plant pot you can see the texture fairly well in fact actually i would argue that texture is very impressive obviously through my camera it might add a bit more pop to it but generally the photo has come out fairly well if we look at the pot's texture on the iphone let me just focus you again if we look at the pot's texture that the iphone's taken a photo of and then i bring the pot next to it let's just change the exposure again, you can see the texture has been picked up fairly well. So I would say the iPhone camera has held up the test of time fairly well. No, it's not perfect, but it is still usable in 2022. As for selfie camera, I thought I'd take a selfie of the exact same place. You can see the texture is definitely lacking a bit more in the selfie camera, but you can still read the text very well on the iPhone 5S. So there's nothing particularly bad and generally it will do for your day to day jobs. One area, unfortunately, which lacks is the battery life. Obviously, having such a small form factor, there's not a big battery in this device, and I don't think it's great. If you watch content or you use your phone a lot during the day for music, streaming services like podcasts or Netflix, you're probably not going to find the battery life on this great. I don't think many of you are watching this considering buying this phone in 2022, but I do think looking back on it retrospectively, the battery life on this isn't great and you definitely would have to charge this during the day if you're an intensive user or you're someone who likes to watch a lot of content. Bring in an Android phone like the Galaxy Note 8, which is from 2017, so five years old. It's on Android 9. It has capabilities to support up-to-date running software on this device. Sorry for it bleeping there. But Samsung and Android overall just does not support it. Apple, credit where it's due, you support your phones very well. One last final thing I want to mention before I leave you is Siri. I just went to use it and it makes me uh, remember the old times. Siri is very different in today's age. As you know, with iPadOS 16 and some of the new updates, Siri has had a big overhaul. It's just a small icon in the small corner and you can use it while you're in other apps. So that is definitely an improvement. And I do think you might miss that, but Siri overall still works and still functions. Overall, the iPhone 5S does remarkably well for a nine year old phone. It's very small, it's very convenient, and generally it's very quick, snappy to load, and it still feels up to date and modern. So Apple, well done for supporting your phones. I still think, kind of ironically, this is a great phone. It feels weird to say that about something that's so old, but it is still a good phone and more than usable. Wouldn't recommend purchasing it this late on in life, but I do still think considering it's so old, it has held up the test of time incredibly well. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video.